What's up everybody, Brian here at 760 Cards and More, and this is part two of what you can find in a flat rate shipping mystery box off of eBay. Uh, if you saw the last video, um, you know that I decided to buy one of these just to check it out, see how well I did. Um, I will link that video in the description. Check that out. Um, and what I'm going to do is I broke it into the four sports, hockey, basketball, football, baseball. Um, and each part will be, you know, showcasing each sport. So um, I use Beckett Organizer. And so sorting something like this takes me a while because the OCD kicks in and I got to make sure I know I have everything. And yeah, so it it might not be like every day that I'm doing this, but eventually I'm going to get these all these things sorted and get the videos out to you but for right now I got the hockey ready to go and again we're not getting any you're not expecting anything like really big um, it's basically a Fairfield box on steroids you're gonna get a lot of commons a lot of base cards every once in a while you're gonna find a couple good decent cards and we just hope for the best and yeah this is a great way to bulk up inventory it's a great way to get into collecting just buy a flat rate box and have at it if you want to sit and sort cards for a few hours and have fun like i said it's a fairfield box on steroids so that being said i'm not going to name off every single card i got but we'll go through and i'll call out some of the names i recognize um i've got a few highlights that i'll save to, for the end, um, I will say that according to the organizer, um, the box itself was like it said 2,700 plus cards. So it's an estimate. Um, I will say that it came pretty close to that. Um, as far as hockey goes, we got 436 cards in hockey. So let me just go through some of these and show you what kind of stuff you can get. What can you expect out of one of these boxes? So basically, you get all the way back into the 90s. I believe this is 8990 or 9091. It's uh, 8990, Opeachy, Ray Bork. We got Bowman. Um, there's some 90, I believe this is 9091 score. So again, Joe Sackick. Um, you're going to get duplicates and multiples. Brian Leach. Like I said, I'm not going to go through every name off every single card. You guys don't want to sit here for two hours listening to me mispronounce hockey names. Uh, Guy Lafleur. That is uh, 91, 92 tops. Or 90, 90, 91 tops. Got Doug Wilson. Um, these two scorecards... This is a 91 score, and this is the French or Canadian version because it's got the, see the French writing. So they released it in two different versions. That's the Canadian, that's the English version. So a little something, a little of everything in these boxes. 91, 92 upper deck, Mike Richter. They're, uh, I think it, came out to 30 rookie cards that I got and I'm not gonna try to figure out which all of them are because y'all don't want to listen to that but like I said it's just a an idea of what you can actually get out of one of these boxes a lot of 91 92 upper deck and I remember the last box I bought from that seller had a lot of 91 92 upper deck as well but again there's there's familiar names, there's stars, there's Opeachy, there's stars, but no like superstar blockbuster, big, ma big name, big money cards. Some more upper deck, 92, 93. Got uh, 93, 94 Ultra, a nice little stack of Ultras. And I, I said it in the other video, the name Keith Kachuk, I remember that name. The names that I that I really knew when I was kind of doing hockey, none of them are playing anymore. 
Brett Hall. But Joe Newendike, I do remember that name. Kelly Rudy. But yeah, uh, I did, I did find maybe like half a dozen non-sport cards, and then I wound up. I think we go into Leaf. I believe that's ninety. What is this? Ninety four, ninety five Leaf with names that are hard to see because of the gold foil, Mark Messier. Um, I did throw out probably 25 or 30 cards just because of the damage. Corners were kind of bad. There were a couple that were creased. And that's expected in a flat rate box because that box comes from wherever it comes from and gets kicked around in the post office. So you can't expect, you know, gem mints coming out of that box. But, you know, for the most part, a lot of these are, you know, corners are, you know, everything is in really good condition, but some of the cards that along the outside of the stacks can get damaged. So you just need to expect that. There's more Leafs. We get into Pinnacle, 94, 95 Pinnacle. Van Beesbrook, another name I recognize. Bork. A lot of pinnacles. Oops. And this is, like I said in the last video, this is like mainly trying to kind of beef up my store inventory. Eventually some of these will get listed. Joe Neuendike. Um, and there are people out there who collect or go after who want to fill sets. Ray Bork. This is, uh, I believe, 95, 96 upper deck or 90, 94, 95 upper deck. So who knows? Maybe somebody out there is trying to complete that upper deck set and they need... Chris Simon to fill it. Well, I've got it. Just a matter of them, of me listing it and them finding it in my store. But yeah, quite a bit of hockey cards. Brett Hall. The uh, baseball took up most of the box. It was a good percentage of baseball. A lot of football. Cam Neely from the Bruins. Now we're getting into a few more familiar names. Doug Lister. More upper decks. Is that Kelly Rudy? Goalie for the Kings, I remember him. Brian Leach. Rob Blake. Yeah, when I do these when I've done these uh, flat rate boxes, I try to find the ones that are mixed sports because you have a better chance of pulling, I don't want to say better cards, but you have a more, you have more variety. Dave Andrichuk, Bowman, Cam Neely. You have a better variety when you get all four sports because with baseball, Paul Coffey, they're going to load the box with late 80s, early 90s stuff that everybody's got. Pavel Bure. And I did find there are a couple cards in here that are like dollar, dollar cards, dollar fifty. Fedorovsky. Not sure if that's rookie. It is Bowman. The young, it's a young, it's a, the. The white border Bowmans are the veterans. The blue are the rookies. This one doesn't say rookie. So he's just a young player. This one says rookie. But yeah, it's if you like sorting and going through, they're a fun lot to do. Like I said, Fairfield on steroids. If you got a few hours to kill and you like sorting cards and just 
looking through like a blast from the past of all the stuff you can find. Yaramir Yager from 96, 97 score, a couple of those. Temu Solani, McGilney, Brodeur, Forsberg. See, there's some names, Kasparitis. Uh, is that Grant? Ed Belfour. Pierre Turgeon. So you will get stars. This is their Paul Correa. You get some stars, Hall of Famers, some rookies. Patrick Waugh, one of the best goalies to ever play the game. More scorecards. Then we get into Fleer picks. It's like an insert set that they did. Leaf Preferred. The Zenith or a Summit. Yarmir Yager. More of these are collector's choice. Tim Sweeney. This is a Pacific collection. Rob Blake. Almost done. Two more stacks. Pat Falloon. And then we got Upper Deck Black Diamond. Guy uh, Guy. That's the other thing with hockey players. We would say Guy, but no, it's Guy. Guy a bear. Doug Gilmore. We got an MVP Stanley Cup edition. Brian Finley. MVP Stanley Stanley Cup talent, John LeClaire, that's an insert card. And some more upper deck, Mike Madano, Joe Newendike. You get into the you get into the more recent stuff, you get to get to the names that are a little more familiar, Yarmir Yager. More Upper Deck, more Upper Deck. Uh, what is this? Upper Deck Heroes. And last stack, and then a couple highlights. So Upper Deck Heroes. More Upper Deck. Here's Sakura. Hot Prospects. Now you get into the newer, kind of newer stuff. This is uh, 07, 08, so it's a little more recent. So, yeah, we went all the way to 89. Now I know there's some, I think, 18, 19 stuff in here too. Hot Prospects, Bill Guerin, uh, Brendan Shanahan, Henrik Sedin, Joe Thornton. We got Upper Deck. This is... 16, 17 upper deck. And yeah, I'm not going to know any of those names because I haven't watched hockey in so long. Now these are from 17, 18. These are 18, 19 upper deck or UD ice. Now the commons on the ice are like $2 each. And we got Eric Stahl, uh, Huberdo. Clayton Keller, Jamie Benn, uh, Debrincat. And then these Michigan State cards, these are 1990. Doug Vollmer, Bob Boyd, and then a, a UD Superstars of Peter Forsberg. But yeah, these ice cards, you know, they're, like I said, $2 on the base card, on just the like the commons. Oh, well, there's five of them right there. So there you go. And now some of the, a couple of the highlights, like I said, I use Beckett Organizer and Beckett, and yes, I know it's just a guide. These things are only worth what someone will give me for them. But when you get a box like this, it's kind of fun to see what, what some of the, what the book value is. Um, we've got Marcus Nosland, Ju World Junior Tournament. That's a rookie card. That book's for 250. The Upper Deck Ice, Blake Wheeler. That's a $2.50 $2 card. Upper Deck Ice, Patrick Lane. 
three dollars. Sebastian is that a ho? A ho? That's a three dollar card. Evgeny Malkin. That's a five dollar card. And Sidney Crosby, which I think I showed in the first video. That book's for eight dollars. So, I mean, book price. That's what two fifty five. 8, 11, 16. That's $24 in book value. Yeah, like I like I said, I know it's just a guide. Book value nowadays doesn't mean squat. But it's still not bad for those five cards. That's pretty much over half of the cost of the box. So, and that's just the hockey. Like I said, I've got it in four sports. I'm working on basketball right now. I'm doing this to kind of show you what you can expect when you do one of these flat rate boxes and I like I said I recommend that you get the ones that are mixed sports because you know who wants 29 2800 late 80s you know 91 Fleer 88 tops who wants that when you can get a mix of all four sports and get the possibility of pulling an eight dollar Sidney Crosby out of there so there you go. That was part two of what you can find in a flat rate box, mystery box on eBay. This was the hockey edition. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, part three will be coming out here in the next couple of days where I'll highlight all the basketball that I found. Um, and I know I should be doing a box of the new 2020 Donruss probably next week. So yeah. Be sure to subscribe. Don't miss out. Thanks for watching.